This year, just compared to last year, there are even more watches that are hard to get, even more watches that are waitlisted and are held for preferred customers. I hate that, I can't. I understand that VIPs and preferred customers are exactly the same concept, but there's something around the, the, the phrase preferred custom that just sounds a bit, it's dirty and not a good dirty. It used to just be steel sports Rolexes and uh, Pateks and, and APs that were waitlisted and really hard to get, but it's kind of this trickle down effect where it's branching out to similar brands, similar designs of watches that are being affected. This isn't all bad though, because it is pushing people to look beyond those overhyped products and it's cultivating this requirement for strong alternatives. And today's watch absolutely hits the nail on the head, but in a more relevant way than what I think it gets credit for. This watch sits alongside, not on the same level, but sits within the same playing field as the Nautilus, the Royal Oak, and the Overseas. <laughs> Welcome back to Bark and Jack, I am Adrian, and today's watch, the Gerard Perigo Laureato, receives a lot of hate from people who just call it a Royal Oak homage, or a ripoff of the Royal Oak. Now, I don't know the truth, and I don't believe anyone really knows the truth, whether Gerard Perigo purposely ripped off the Royal Oak, or whether there was inspiration taken, or it was just a bit of a fluke. The Royal Oak was launched in 1972, and then three years later, in 1975, the Laureato was launched. The original Laureato was a kind of sporty, futuristic looking watch, and it was powered by a quartz movement, which at the time was the height of technology. The Royal Oak, which was designed by Gerald Genta, was an absolute game changer for AP, but also it was a game changer for the watch industry, for watch trends. Now, although Gerard Perigo can't take credit for being as game-changing as the Royal Oak, what they can take credit for is jumping on that hype train, jumping on that trend before it was even a trend, and before the likes of Patek, IWC, and Vachon Constantin. Before this starts to sound like an advert for Gerard Perigo or Laureato, um, they're probably pronouncing them wrong anyway, but this isn't. This video is sponsored by Chronext. Uh, the nice guys over at Chronext allowed me to get hands on with this watch, which is how I've made this video for you guys. The original Laureato really isn't much to look at in my eyes. How I see it, 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 it does nothing for me. But the modern Laureato, which was launched in 2017, is incredible. It wears, smaller, it wears tighter. It's, it's such a refined product that this is a 42 millimeter wide watch. Yet when I posted a photograph on Instagram, I couldn't believe it was 42 because it was so comfortable, so sleek to wear that I said it was a 38 millimeter watch. Of course, I was quickly corrected by uh, the community. So this version is 42 millimeters wide. It's 11 millimeters thick. The lug slug measurement is 49 millimeters, which is why this watch wears so well, but it's also to do with how angular the lugs are. We have 100 meters of water resistance and we have a screw down crown. And interestingly, whilst we're talking about screw down things, that bezel is one big bolt. It screws into the case. It becomes part of the water resistance, it becomes part of the ceiling of the case, which I think is quite cool. The dial has this awesome Clue de Paris pattern on it. I couldn't see whether it was engine turned or just stamped. I'm guessing that at this price point, it's just a stamped dial, but regardless, it looks brilliant. And then we have the hour markers and the hands. The hour markers and logo are all applied and they are rhodium plated along with the hands. I love how the hands and hour markers have been executed on this. They are perfectly flat. There's a really satisfying exactness to the top side of these hands and hour markers. The movement inside is a proper in-house movement. This is made by Gerard Perigo. It is the GP01800. It's an automatic movement with 28 joules, beats at 28,800 vibrations. My laptops, um, I, I don't memorize these specs. I, I read them off a laptop that's just off screen. It's not vibrations per hour, it says miles per hour, but it does make you think, what is the speed of that balance wheel bouncing back and forth? And what G is it under as well? I'm not gonna, it hurts my head. The movement is beautifully finished. Beautifully finished within the budget of the watch. And that's where this watch does get separated from, I'm gonna say as peers, the, the Nautilus and the Royal Oak and the Overseas, they are in a different league to this watch. But design wise, 
there is a connection between all of them, but the separation is in the finishing, but then it doesn't cost the same as the Holy Trinity. This costs £9,400 at retail, and this is one of the benefits of buying a watch that isn't hyped. The guys over at Chronix are selling this for £8,000. One, the price is already good, but two, being able to save £1,400 on a watch. And if you use the discount code Bark and Jack, if you spend over £5,000 and use that discount code, you will save more money on your purchase. Not only is saving money with Chronix, but you're safe in the mind that what you're buying is completely legit. This watch I actually think is sold out at Chronix, but do check out the Laureatos that they have and check out the other watches that they have over there. And don't forget, if you're spending over 5,000 pounds, use the discount code BARK and JACK, all in capitals when you check out, and that will save you some money. The big thing that stands out to me, and the, the, the interesting thing that stands out to me, is how the Laureato, for me, my opinion of the Laureato, is it ticks all the boxes. It's 100% the product that it's trying to be. Lots of companies try to do the luxury sports integrated bracelet design and they kind of get there. Whereas the Laureato is just perfect. It feels, honestly, if you get the chance to try it on, wear it. It feels incredible on the wrist. It's so slim, it's so slender. And that's kind of amplified with how wide it is as well. There is a downside, obviously, and where it doesn't hit the 100% mark, and that's around brand prestige. Gerard Pergo, although they have this massive history, the brand still just isn't as powerful as AP, as Patek. It isn't that household name. And so if that's important to you, then the Laureato isn't, isn't a great choice. Equally, if value retention is important to you, then again, the Laureato isn't a great choice. My favorite version of the Laureato of the normal Laureato is the Black Dial. I know Blue Dolls are very hot, but the Black Dial really stands out as the killer one. But the ultimate Laureato is their limited, of course, it's the limited edition. <laughs> it's the limited edition, infinity edition. The gloss Black Dial looks absolutely, it's one of those dials that you can just get lost in. It kind of just sucks you in and just it has this, interesting, mysterious emptiness to this glossy black dial. What do you guys think of the Laureato? Are you in the camp that it's just another Royal Oak ripoff, or do you think it's worthy of being part of the trend that is the luxury sports integrated bracelet world? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Jump over to Chronix and have a look at what they've got over there, obviously to buy a watch, but also have a look at what there is around. I can honestly borrow anything from them. So just drop a comment. Let me know what you think I should borrow next. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like the style of this video, then hit the subscribe button down there and that little bell icon so you get notifications when I drop a new video. If you want to check out watch traps and watch accessories, jump over to BarkandJack.com and check out what we have over there. And if you're on Instagram, give me a follow at BarkandJack. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.